Hi my lovelies, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing amazingly well. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about 10 incredible rose fragrances. But before I start this video, please make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Kindly give this video a thumbs up and let me know what your scent of the day is now before i share these 10 perfumes they are absolutely stunning i wanted to share with you guys some pieces that i got from anna luisa i've partnered up with them for this portion of the video to bring you guys some of my favorite pieces from their website anna luisa's pieces start at just 39 dollars they ship worldwide in america shipping is free but everywhere else in the world the shipping is actually very very affordable so i urge you guys to check out their website i have this bracelet which i've had my eye on for so long this is my favorite piece in the whole entire website i have worn this to work all week long and i have gotten people asking me where my bracelet was from because it is so lovely it's very chic it's very classy it's really really pretty and they offer two years guarantee on all of their pieces i also have this necklace let me move closer i have this necklace of course i was gonna pick a heart necklace because from abby with love heart <laughs> and i really love where it sits on my chest it just looks very easy very put together very stunning really elegant i also have earrings from them here so i'm basically dripped in Ana luisa right now and i'm just absolutely loving them i'd also like to add that they have um free returns which is super super easy they are carbon neutral from packages to their products and they come like this with the Ana luisa branding on them and they also come in this color black i think this is just so lovely like when my delivery came I was completely blown away i was incredibly happy i felt special and i think they will make an amazing gift for yourselves for your loved ones for anyone really they have rings they've got necklaces they've got bracelets they've got earrings i honestly i'm sure you guys know about anna luisa at this point but if you don't get to know because their pieces are so so divine i'm gonna leave all the details in my description box about Ana Luisa, about the pieces I've got on. If there's any discount codes, I'm going to have everything linked down below. So make sure you check out my description box. First of all, let me share my lipstick. Uh, my lipstick is from Sephora and this one is double is zero one it's a red lipstick you guys know how much i love my red lipstick i will also have it linked down below i think this is like less than 10 pounds and it lasts for so long i've had this lipstick on for about three hours and it has not moved and my headpiece if you guys care to know is from asos i think it's like six pounds i will link it also and my dress is very very old i got it from zara a very 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 long time ago and i absolutely love it the first perfume is Rose Oud by Kayali. I have been wanting to get this perfume since it came out. I initially thought I liked the vanilla one, which I do, but I feel like the Rose Oud is very, very me. This is giving very bougie, bougie vibes. In the opening, it smells really fresh, like a fresh green, um, a little bit aromatic in the opening. And then as it settles down a little bit, you start to get the rose, the geranium, the peony. Peony is such a beautiful fragrance note. I love it. And in the base, you get a lot more of the rose. You get the vanilla and then you get the oud. Now, if you're scared of oud, please trust me when I tell you the oud here is quite subtle. I have smelled some super strong ouds in my time and this is nowhere near those kind of ouds now this oud is very quiet like i said um you get more of that rose you get like a fruity rose with vanilla and then oud is just there to kind of ground it this is my favorite from the line this followed by the vanilla one then the cafe oud 
and the tobacco one is not for me it's way too masculine but i absolutely love this i think this will be perfect for date night in any season the longevity is incredible absolutely mind-blowing for me this lasted on my skin for nine hours i honestly it shocked me it really really shocked me in the best possible way so that is rose oud by kayali so the next perfume is by fenty i absolutely love this the bottle i can't lie i used to hate it because i felt like they were lazy with it that's what i felt but when i got the bottle in my collection it just stands out it's very different it's very simple and i love that they've got the fenty print around the um middle here and then they've got the print not the print um engraved um fenty logo on top which i just think is very nice and simple moving on to the perfume itself this is beautiful it opens up very fruity so it's got like a mandarin orange and blueberry so it's very fruity it's like a tropical fruit in the opening and then it dries down to this very very peculiar musky patchouli you get the rose in the mid uh, but that is not the standout note in this perfume the standout notes are the citruses and the patchouli you have to love patchouli to enjoy this perfume there's something dirty sexy about this perfume and the rose here it's not kind of like it's not like your clean rose it's given an edgy type of rose it kind of feels like a blackened and dark rose with patchouli and the fruity opening and i know that doesn't sound enticing but there's something that happens when you put this perfume on your skin it is absolutely divine it is divine i promise you try this out don't blind buy please try it out and see if it's your cup of tea but for me my husband loves this and it was just like yeah you need to get that you need to get that because it smells so different from anything you've had in your collection and i absolutely absolutely love it so that is fenty or the parfum the next rose that i love is roses musk by montal i absolutely adore montal as a brand i've always loved their perfumes you're never disappointed when it comes to longevity with montal perfumes they smell quite synthetic very um plasticky in some ways but not here you get a lot of rose but this feels like a sugared synthetic rose it doesn't feel like a real watery type of rose but it smells really good you also have to love musk because this is musky af <laughs> on my skin this is so musky and strong you know tiziana terenzi have this very strong dna a lot of their perfumes to me have this thing that either bothers you or you love it i feel like montage like that but for me this is my most complimented montage perfume i think it's amazing i think it's long lasting men love this perfume it's sugared rose with musk it's really really nice and longevity it's like 48 hours plus so once again this is rose's musk by montal the next perfume will not come as a surprise guys it is of course delina exclusive by performance de mali i am forever in love with this perfume this is so sweet this is so creamy this is very smooth a beautiful rose delina exclusive is so pretty it's a pretty girl perfume it's definitely my favorite delina forever and ever and i can rave about this perfume over and over again but, but you guys already know my love for this perfume is just it can't be measured i'm absolutely obsessed with it again very long lasting highly complimented perfume if you want to get compliments from everybody this is the perfume to get your nose on so that is delina exclusive by performs the mali next perfume is pink me up by atelier des Ors. i mean check out that bottle guys oh this packaging got me i can't even lie to you guys the packaging got me but the juice is beautiful this is rose champagne blackberry some musk it's giving me some powderiness especially in the dry down but it's very very subtle this is a light perfume this to me is a spring summer perfume but i would wear it at the beginning of autumn 
I think it's just so lovely, especially for a date night or a picnic date or like a girl's evening out. It's so, so lovely. It's a pretty penny for sure. So you have to like a sparkling rose kind of scent in order to really, really enjoy this perfume. I will say one thing there is patchouli in here and that shocked me because when i first got this i didn't get the patchouli at all there is nothing green about this perfume there's nothing sharp or earthy about it so i was really surprised to get the the that there's patchouli in here but i don't detect it at all so you don't have to worry if you have pink me up comment down below let the people know that this is an amazing perfume so the next perfume is Liquid Love by Fenhaligans. This is literally screaming Valentine's Day. Honestly, this perfume is so nice. It's one of those ones from Penhaligans that I feel like you can blindly buy for someone. You can gift this to someone. It's a very likable perfume. It's rose, pink pepper, some cashmere, and sandalwood, musk. It has a lot of beautiful notes. It's such a smooth an elegant perfume if you want to know more about this perfume please go ahead and watch the review that i did about the whole potions and remedies line every single one of the perfumes in that line is so divine penhaligans have done a fantastic job you guys already know how much i love this brand and this perfume is definitely a must try i absolutely adore it so that is liquid love by penhaligans next is peregrina by thamine this is a stunning rose and caramel perfume i always detect some kind of oud from this perfume but there is no oud listed it's definitely woody it's a little bit spicy it's very very sweet it's super addictive one thing i noticed is people don't like this um the first time they try it when they try it they're like, mm, I don't know about it. Like they can't quite place it. But everyone that said that literally come back to say they absolutely love this. And they cannot imagine not having this in their collection. And they don't get why they didn't get it. So if you didn't get it the first time, I beg you, please try again. Try again on this perfume. It's so divine. If you can get yourself the, um, the body lotion, which is in the original packaging, you can go ahead and get it it's so fragrant it doesn't moisturize that well but my goodness does this smell incredible together this perfume does not need help with longevity if you're wondering why the colors are different i say this all the time but if you guys are new here this was done as a limited edition for valentine's day i want to say two years ago but all of the um thamine perf uh, perfumes or majority of them come in this beautiful cobalt blue color and i absolutely love so if you are looking for a super elegant sweet woody spicy inviting kind of scent peregrina is the perfume for you next is roses and roses by miss dior i am obsessed clearly i love this this is a 50 ml bottle i've not even had this perfume for six months have i no i've not had it for six months and i've used so much of it because i find it such an easy grabbing rose perfume that doesn't smell aged it doesn't smell old it doesn't smell boring it's such a sparkling and a musky rose now this is very fresh this is giving more realistic rose this is giving literally imagine like you know when roses are like floating on top of water that's what it smells like to me with musk it's a little bit sweet i feel like the muskiness comes up a little bit sweeter on my skin so i get like a sweet musky and rosy scent from this perfume longevity is average this is not going this is not be smooth perfume but this will last you the whole day so if you went if you went to work it should still smell on your body when you finish work but after that i don't know it does become a skin scent around about the five hour mark but i really don't mind reapplying this perfume i think it's such a nice rose perfume that is perfect for any age perfect for any occasion and i really really love it and i highly recommend it so that is roses and roses by miss dior another rose on my list is duchess rose by penhaligons this was scarce for such a long time i was so scared that it was discontinued but best believe i did have a backup bottle on this perfume 
because I love it so much. Now, this rose is different from every single rose I've mentioned. This rose is very, very forward in the best possible way. One thing I noticed that these perfumes have in common is that Mandarin Orange and the rose, they seem to go hand in hand together. So this is, again, a fresh citrusy opening. Very, very strong openings. Very powerful. It doesn't shy away at all, but it's not obnoxious. Like People are going to smell you and be like, whoa, that smells like money. It's also quite woody and super, super musky. But the musk is very clean. It's a clean, tidy, expensive smelling musk. This smells really good. This is what people like J-Lo, Beyonce are wearing on a plane, on a private jet. Don't ask me why I've got that image in my head. If you love a rose perfume, this I'm talking to my strictly rose lovers, you would absolutely adore this kind of rose because it smells different to any rose you've ever had your nose on it's so delectable it's so distinctive it has a little bit of a soapiness as well like a clean soapiness to it oh, guys try this one if you have not already and if you have duchess rose comment down below bestie comment down below because this is everything and last but not least is my neroli blanc intense now i always talk about this being the best orange blossom perfume ever but it does have rose. The rose is not the most forward note that I get to my nose. It's more of a slightly gourmand orange blossom fragrance. It's fresh. It's a tiny bit soapy. It gives me vibes of Love Don't Be Shy, but it's nowhere near as sweet. I think the orange blossom in Love Don't Be Shy smells very similar to this perfume, but this perfume is a better quality if you ask me. It's cheaper. It's amazing. And also, I have a discount code. On this perfume so i would definitely say get this one if you can get your nose on it if you can it's absolutely divine and i've spoken about this so many times i'm not gonna go on and on but i highly recommend it so my loves that is it for this video don't forget to check out anna luisa i will leave everything actually i'm gonna leave it in my comments and leave it pinned so all the details on anna luisa jewelry um discount codes links everything I will leave it in the comments on this video and also have it pinned. Now, before you guys go, I'm going to, I've been asked many times to do a Q&A, especially in the last few weeks. And I realized I've never actually done a Q&A about myself. So if you guys have any questions, I'm going to put a post up in my community tab after this video. So you can go and ask any questions you want to ask. It doesn't have to be fragrance related. It could be anything at all. But if you try to get too personal, I may not answer, but still leave your questions anyway. Um, so once you guys leave your questions, I will film that video and I will post it next week, Sunday. And I will also have a giveaway in that video as well. So make sure you stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I cannot wait to see you guys in my next video. Bye.